Hey, so Harvest here, and uh, after we were doing the alternator the other day, I decided while I was in there, I should probably go ahead and just put a little a little bigger pulley, lower pulley on uh, to get a little more boost. With the bigger pulley, I did have to change belts. Um, it took quite a while to get some new belts. For some reason, there is a shortage on these green Gates belts. Um, I don't know, they, and they're expensive. They, the, the, I don't remember these belts being this expensive, but they are. So, had to get a couple of them because I'm not exactly sure what size I'm gonna need, but um, we're gonna find out right now. So, I started off with this uh, 685 belt. This was the shortest one. This one was just about a quarter inch longer than my other one um, that I had on before. That didn't work. That was not long enough. So I went ahead and ordered uh, two more here. I got a 690 and a 694. Now I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be this longer one, but I got this other middle side in between the two just if it fits a little tighter belt is always good for the supercharger um if it doesn't then i'm pretty sure this one is gonna fit so let's give uh let's give the longer one a try first and just make sure that's gonna fit and then uh, we'll go from there so first things first we've got to route the belt around the lower pulley so then once you get the belt all routed you just pull the tensioner back set it on all right so once you get the belt on um, there's a couple marks here on your tensioner that you want to pay attention to now when you got a correct size belt it's going to uh, these these are going to line up in between these two marks this mark here against those two um, and it's typically going to going to be somewhere in, in between them um, the tighter the belt it's gonna to be towards this one on the bottom. Um, and I want it as tight as possible. So the belt I chose, which was the 694, ended up being the one that works best. Um, I could have gone with one that was a little bit, little bit shorter and it would have been a little bit tighter, but it, then it puts it outside of that range. I, uh, I'd rather just stay right, right where it should be. So next, got to install the intake. Just slip that on right there like that. And adjust it, make sure we're not hitting the power steering pump right here. And we've got room for the air filter. Good. Then, we just tighten up the clamp. Good, doesn't need to be too tight. That's secure. Then, next thing we need to do is connect our meth water fittings. These are brass fittings. They don't need to be too tight, but you want them. Don't want them to leak. Just tuck that back down there. Then we we'll just plug in all our sensors and vacuum line, MAF sensor. Just take one good look over everything, and uh, I think we're going to be good to fire her up. All right, so let's give her a start.
We're just starting up the HP tuners. Oh, we gotta plug it in. 